So it turns out I have been unknowingly introduced to the smart world of Tuya with this. The B2000G, a smart, wait for it, Wi-Fi panel heater. Hello and welcome back, or if you're new here, then just hello. Thanks for stopping by. If you like what you see, or even if you don't for that matter, then please do consider subscribing because I had to pay for this thing myself. And if I had more subs, then maybe I could have got them to send it to me for free. So yeah, please subscribe, thanks. It's been cold here in the UK for what feels like forever now. And I've been using this old Dyson fan heater to warm up my home office, which is in a converted garage. But this has become so very, very expensive to run since electricity prices here in the UK have gone absolutely mental it needed some attention. So I started the hunt for a more cost-effective way of heating my space and landed on panel heaters. And yes, before you start getting all technically self-righteous in the comments, I know they aren't the cheapest way to go, but were ideal for my specific requirements. And so far, it's consumed less than the old Dyson did. So, winner, winner, chicken dinner. What did I land on during my journey of panel heater self-discovery? Well, it was this, the Berg, or Berge, if you're posh. Smart, Wi-Fi, electric, glass panel heater in black. Also available in white. I settled on this one for a few reasons, some of which are... It's small and lightweight and was the perfect size. It was wall mountable. It looked ever so sexy in black with shiny glass. It was smart and it didn't break the bank. And speaking of the bank, this was 139 great British pounds at time of filming this video from your favorite online retailer, Amazon. In terms of price, this sat midway in the listings with alternatives ranging from around 84 pounds all the way up to 212 pounds. Now, I have already unboxed this, not on camera sadly, so let me talk you through that experience whilst you watch me struggle to mount it on my wall. Inside the rather large box was the panel heater itself, which measured 92 by 8 by 43 centimeters and weighs 9 kilograms, so it's not very heavy at all. I am a massive weed with the dodgy broken shoulder, and if I could lift it, then you'll be absolutely fine. You get some gump in the form of a user manual, which I actually did take a look at in order to get the QR code for the app, and you also get two plastic silver colored legs slash feet things which when attached takes the depth of the panel to 24 centimeters and they also supply some wall screws and plugs how kind now this particular model is 2000 watts which again is is mid-level when it comes to panel heater offerings with others i saw exceeding 3000 watts and as the video title states it is smart more on this in a mo, but can also be controlled the old fashioned way using your finger with the LCD display on the front. Its Amazon listing says it's energy efficient, which it achieves via an intelligent thermostat and aluminium heating element, which heats up quickly, but cools down slowly. How the hell would I know if this is legit or not? I turn it on and yes, it heats up quick and it seemed to stay warm, but that could just be how all panel heaters work for all I know. But to put your mind at ease, it also has an LOT20 ERP certificate or rather it is compliant. And to help settle your nerves even more, it has a 4.5 stars rating out of a five star rating on Amazon with lots of positive feedback. It is IP24 rated. So if you wanted to use this safely in a bathroom, for example, you could zone two only. It supports 2.4 gigahertz wireless and I'll let you know how it deals with my mixed network later. And it is smart assistant compatible with Alexa, Google Home, Samsung Smart Things, and if this, then that. Alexa is my smart home assistant of choice and once connected, you're able to issue such commands as Alexa, turn the studio heat on. Alexa, set the studio heater to 25 degrees. I know, I am easily pleased. Once connected to the mains power with the 1.5 meter cable, the panel needs turning on using the rocker switch on the side, at which point it should beep to let you know it's on. The Wi-Fi icon on the front of the panel will then blink rapidly, which means it's ready for you to start the setup within the app. 
I had no idea what app I should use, so I scanned the QR code in the user manual, at which point I found out the smart aspect of this was from Tuya, who are a well-known smart home brand that I personally have heard a lot about from other YouTubers, so it was a nice surprise to see this. As always, the app is available from your app store of choice, and if this is your first time using it, as it was mine, then you will need to create an account. Part of this process is a two-factor authentication check on your email email address, which given today's day and age, is also very refreshing to see. Once registered as a new user, you will then need to allow the app permission to access your network and so on. And then once you've done that, you'll be ready to get onto the panel heater setup. Click on add device, choose smart home appliances from the menu on the left, and then heater in brackets Wi-Fi from the options on the right. You then ask to enter your wireless network info. This had no issues with my mixed 2.4 and 5 gigahertz network. And once complete, the app will hunt for the panel and find it. And for me, that took around 15 seconds. Give the heater a name and then click on done and then you're done. It's that simple. You can now enjoy your panel heater and wirelessly control every aspect of your shiny new panel from turning it on and off locking the panel so it can't be touched by unwanted hands, or set up some timers or more advanced schedules. The scheduling works well and allows you to set a date and time you want the heater to come on or go off, as well as being able to set the temperature. The app itself is fairly basic and generic in appearance, but this is because there are many different types of smart devices that it supports. So you will see things such as scenes for lights that won't necessarily apply to you. Now, as you've seen, the um, physical setup of this was extremely easy, even for a DIY retard such as myself. And it would have been even easier if I chose to just use the provided feet to stand it on. Smart Assistant integration to your office is very good in my opinion, although I did only test it with Alexa. The panel heater is quick and responsive to all commands, either from the app or via your voice, but when used with a smart home assistant, I am also able to give myself a, a little bit more peace of mind because at the end of the day, this is a heater and with any heater, there is a potential risk of fire. So in addition to adding this to a nightly routine within Alexa to make sure that it is definitely switched off along with all my other devices, I've also put this on a smart plug so I can ensure that the physical power is completely cut to it and thus, no more risk of fire. The performance of the heater to a, a novice like me is great. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It takes around 20 to 25 minutes to get it from 14 up to 20 degrees, which is a hell of a lot faster than the old Dyson used to be. And it does so with no noise. Literally, this thing makes zero noise. Listen, listen. That's it on high. Amazing. I'm also finding that I need to top up the heat in here even less when using the panel heater. So perhaps that marketing gump about a slow cool down was actually true. The front glass doesn't get dangerously hot to touch, it's just warm, but the top silver band does tend to get hotter, but to me, not hot enough to burn. But perhaps if a small child touched it, that may be a problem for them, if that makes any sense. With all things considered, this isn't the cheapest panel you'll find on Amazon granted, but in my opinion, it's certainly one I wouldn't hesitate to recommend to anyone who had similar requirements to me or had a smart home obsession like me. Now, if you have any questions about this that I didn't answer or questions about any other items for that matter, then please do let me know in the comments box down below. And whilst you're down there, please do consider liking the video, even if you didn't, subscribing if you aren't already, and hit the bell to get notified when I upload new videos, because apparently it really helps me out get sent more free stuff to play with. So yeah, thanks. And thank you for watching. Goodbye, internet. I just kicked the camera then. What a knob. Put this chain on me, like they all hate on me. Don't bring that rage on me.